Seven time now for the wild world of Carl Nelson and Imagine It. Play-Doh and electricity typically don't mix. Carl, what's going on here? Well, I discovered that Play-Doh is actually conductive to electricity. <laughs> so you can build circuits with Play-Doh. I'm not going to ask how you discovered that. But, uh, that doesn't matter. But what's cool <laughs> is you can build circuits with Play-Doh. Okay, it's, it's sure, so that cool. is cool. Now, if you have Play-Doh at home, you can use the commercial stuff. Although, I would recommend making your own. I'll put, the, I'll put the recipe on our website. You can check it out. Because you can make really good conductive Play-Doh and insulating Play-Doh. Oh, all right. Okay. So, for instance, I got a battery here. I got two little logs or wires of Play-Doh. And Tony, just go ahead and take some of these little LEDs and stick them right in there. Okay, so yeah, I'm a little hesitant to actually touch any of this no, stuff. No, no, it's, it's six volts, it's no okay. problem. So, All right. Okay, so one of the basic ideas of making an electrical circuit is you want a complete path. And so if you stick the LED oh, bridging the two. the two. Notice how I did this wrong. No, that's okay, that's, that's, <laughs> what, that's the cool part is that you can learn how to make circuits. The other thing is, that's okay, LEDs are like one-way valves, so I'm going to just flip this around the other way. Oh, like a negative-positive kind of thing. Exactly, and so we can get them to light up or not light up depending on which way you point them. Yeah. Okay? Right. Now, that's a complete circuit. Oh, that's a dud. Let's These just get, cool that, anyway. get rid of that one. Um, <laughs> okay, so what's cool about this is you can also talk about making electrical shorts between things, right? Electricity wants to take the path of least resistance. Right. Right now, that's going through the LEDs, but if you take this little ball of conductive Play-Doh and stick it in between, Give okay. It a try. Let's see what happens. All right. Just jam it down in there. Okay. Got to make good contact. Good. It's cut off the valve. It's actually shorted out the electricity. This is easier to flow through than the lights are. Sure. Okay. So you can talk about complete circuits. You can talk about these are actually parallel circuits. All right. Okay. <laughs> so really, really kind of cool stuff. If you wanted to, you could put some insulating Play-Doh in between. It's a hot dog. And now, <laughs> it, it could look like a hot dog. And that's sure. what's cool about it because you can build all sorts of things. In fact, you could even take a buzzer and sort of jam it in there. Right. And... Needs to get the right spot. You gotta get it's it. It's kind of like operation. It's kind of like operation, <laughs> all right? Now, you can do all sorts of interesting shapes. So all you right. can make like a little sushi roll if you want. And then, you know, you don't need the big battery. You can use a little battery. Oh boy. And again, get, hey. the, get the polarity right and you can light up the light. In fact, if you want to get really crazy and really creative... And who doesn't? You can make things that look like little snails. Oh, wow. Huh? And so, Tony, I'm going to let you bring the snail to life. Well, when you market this, I, I want a piece of the action. You're going to bring it to life. Right. And remember, <laughs> complete circuit. We have conductor, insulator, conductor. So it's got to so go just anywhere? One goes either. on the bottom, and then one goes on the top. Like that? Like and, here? And, yeah. yeah, well, yeah maybe well, down lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got to switch the polarity. All right. Let me, let me reverse it. It's the 9 volt. It's, no, it's not the 9 volt. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Come on, guys. How about some yeah, more juice? Let's, let's try from it here. the scientist. All right. We can try it that way or we can try it this <laughs> hey, way. There hey. we go. So again, the LEDs are one-way valves. You have to get them in the correct order right. to light it up. There's a little bit of science involved because it's trial and error. It is. And you can explore all sorts of really cool things. In fact, you can even, we've talked about how some of the uh, stuff is resistive or conductive. So I've got this sort of like hot dog deal here. Okay. I built a little circuit that will tell us what the resistance of this is based on sound. Ooh. So give us a little feedback here. All got right. this little buzzer. Hopefully you can hear it. And he's got this one plugged in. Got Let's this one this plugged in. <laughs> um, but if I stretch the Play-Doh, listen to the sound. As it gets thinner and thinner, the pitch gets higher and higher. So if I put it back together, low, low resistance, stretch it apart, high resistance, and the pitch gets higher and higher, and higher, <laughs> higher until it finally breaks. All so right. there's all sorts of cool stuff you can do electronics wise with something as simple as Play-Doh, a few batteries and some LEDs. Excellent. And who can resist Carl Nelson and the Imagination Station? <laughs> Thanks very much for coming on, Don. We're going to turn it now over to Dave with sports.